Welcome back, and let's start with the Pier System Chicken Catcher, which consists of three rotating drums that rotate in opposite directions. These drums are equipped with long, flexible rubber fingers. After the chickens are caught using the rotating drums, they are placed on a shuttle platform via a conveyor belt. Its telescopic mechanism can be used to empty poultry cages up to 20 meters wide and is operated using a radio frequency remote control. By the way, blue lights illuminate the cage to keep the chickens calm during the catching process. <laughs> well, they won't go anywhere. Next, we have an old-fashioned toaster that still works perfectly. <laughs> I think this must have been very popular back then. We also have a candle flame extinguisher with a neat mechanism that automatically covers the flame in a specific position. From Europe, we move to China. Yes, the manual water pump tool that lifts water from the ground was the mainstay of rural residents around the 30s <laughs> and still works well today. Installing doll hair like this doesn't seem like a challenge for beginners. I wonder how the rotating drum can freeze the cream and soda poured onto its surface so quickly. Amazing! This is the most popular snow ice cream street food in Asia today. This giant leaf trimmer features two arms, each with three serrated discs for blades. Wow, an exceptional product from Germany. Let's take a look at this tutorial on how to make a simple claw tool using leftover materials. It's very easy, and we can all agree that this tool will be a huge help in your work. Dyeing the base fabric with various patterns and colors is actually quite easy. Maybe I'll try making it next time with the color scheme that came to mind when I saw this tutorial. Does anyone know why this excavator is splitting the trunk of an oil palm tree? Yes, that's right. <laughs> the sliced tree trunks will be processed into organic fertilizer for the next generation of trees. Making a straight line without a ruler with precision and speed? Are you kidding me? It requires high concentration and precision. <laughs> I don't think many people can do this. Ceramic painting involves using water-based acrylic paint. The final step is to apply a glaze. This thin layer seals the pores of the ceramic, making it waterproof, hygienic, and mechanically stronger. Installing ceiling plywood to fit a complexly shaped wall? Well, here's a surefire trick. Here's the process for making sugar candy with a sweet and sour fizzy sensation. Workers must complete this process while the liquid sugar is still warm for about 30 minutes. Once it cools, the liquid sugar will become very hard and cannot be shaped again. Making old-fashioned sugar candy in Europe and elsewhere involves the same basic process, heating sugar and water to a specific temperature, creating a hard, solid texture once cooled. This process can be done manually by boiling the mixture until it thickens and solidifies, then shaping it as desired.
The base ingredient is sugar from cane or corn. This is the primary ingredient that provides sweetness and structure to the candy. The second ingredient is corn syrup, used to provide stability and prevent excessive crystallization. The final ingredient is water, used to dissolve the sugar and form the syrup. Operating construction machinery designed to grip, move, and install paving stones precisely. These large harvesters aren't fully automated. An operator is in the cockpit, and apple pickers walk around the vehicle. Multiple conveyors transport the apples to a large capacity container on the harvester. Most woodworkers today use sophisticated CNC machines to carve logs like this, but this woodworker still works manually, aided only by a high-speed motor and his signature carving tool. And as you can see, this video is incredibly satisfying, isn't it? The vehicle is equipped with five arms that are equipped with specific sensors that are programmed to recognize and pick broccoli carefully. Next, two construction workers are working on the ceiling. They're using foot-mounted tools to reach heights, making the job easier. Meanwhile, the other, as you can see, is using a tool to help lift and install the ceiling material. The work is progressing very well, and we all agree that these tools significantly save time and effort. Next, the process of making a giant bucket. Here's how it works. Plastic flakes are poured into a metal mold, heated to 120 degrees Celsius, rotated in one direction for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then the whole thing is done, just like a magic. This is the agile little guy. <laughs> His job is to cut the grass and is controlled by remote control from a distance of up to 10 meters from the mowing vehicle. After watching this footage, you will easily install tiles in tricky places like this. There are many ways to make clay bricks, both manually or automatically. This brick-making machine originates from the Middle East. What do you think? It <laughs> looks unique, doesn't it? Did you know that the medicine capsules you always have at home are printed like this? The process of printing an opal-shaped stainless steel strainer spoon for frying. This is a vehicle for planting various types of vegetables most often used in European agriculture.
magnetic plates are used to capture metal ore in steel mills. The process of dipping duck eggs into a special batter and making salted eggs in China, known as century eggs. Skilled workers are separating banana leaves from their stalks, which are usually used to wrap traditional foods in Southeast Asia. A simple tool greatly speeds up the process of making salted radish. Excavator fitted with old rail pry tool for installation of replacement rails. <laughs> Amazing! What you see now is a 1945 banking machine counting and separating different sizes of coins. Drawing road signs with precision is aided by the tiny tool beloved by road workers. Europeans in 1945 used this simple tool to peel apples faster and to sharpen pencils. Is this one? Construction workers level a cement floor while <laughs> having a little fun. And this one uses a similar tool to make a cement concrete road. This footage shows how the adhesive tape you buy in the supermarket is made in the factory. <laughs> Vehicle equipped with a walnut tree trunk vibrator for faster harvesting. Thank you for sticking with us this far. On the final screen, you'll find a selection of other videos from us that you can hit and watch afterward. Stay healthy. See you in another video.